So we will be focusing on the categorical prepositions, the converse, obverse and contrapositive under categorical prepositions. In the previous lecture, we have already done the same thing, but that was under a conditional statement, which is a if then statement. So when I said if there is rain, there uh, if there is cloud, there is rain. So in that case, we have already talked about the converse, inverse, obverse and contrapositive. Today, we would be understanding the same thing with categorical prepositions. So categorical propositions, if you have issues with that, I would requ request you to go back and check out the class on square of position that we have covered, the very fundamental AEIO concept, okay? Now here, let me put it simple, when I say all S is P, this is the major statement that I have. Now based on this statement, I write a converse of it. The converse statement would be all P is S. Now make it simple, have an example, all cats are dogs, okay. So I would write for a converse as all dogs are cats, don't go into the intricacies whether this is a valid form, this is not valid, we would understand that in a while and that's the basis for this lecture. However, right now we are focusing on what is converse obverse and contrapositive as a recap of what we have done. So this is converse obverse is nothing but I negate both the statements. So all S is P, I write it as no S is non-P or not P, okay? And then I have contrapositive. Contrapositive is, I am interchanging the positions of P and S with a negation. So I say all non-P is non-S, okay? So that is a contrapositive statement. Now, the most interesting part of it, under categorical prepositions, each of the cases A, E, I and O. Now, do you remember what is A, E, I and O? If we want to have a quick recap, we have A, E, I and O. A is all, okay, E is no, I is some and O is some not. Okay, so for each of these cases, A, E, I and O, what we would be doing is we would be finding the converse, obverse and contrapositive. But interestingly, again, in each of these cases, only two of those would be valid each time. What do I mean by that? If I am at all, under all, I would have only two forms that would be valid and those are the obverse and the contrapositive. When there is no, again there would be only two forms that would be valid and uh, when there is E, there would be again two forms that is valid and that is converse and obverse. Under some, again there would be two forms that is valid, that is converse and obverse. And under some not, there would be again two forms that would be valid and that is obverse and contrapositive. What does this mean? This is again giving an interesting finding that in all of the cases, obverse is always valid. So, when I say all S is P and I say no S is not P, that is a true form and similar is the case with any of these four observations that we have. Another interesting finding is only for all and some not, I would have converse that would not be a valid form. Now how it won't be a valid form? Let me take a simple example. I say all cats are mammals. Then I say a converse of it. What would be a converse of it? All mammals are cats. That is not true. This is false. Okay. So in this case, I am saying that the converse is not valid. When I say all cats are mammals, I cannot say all mammals are cat, obviously, because there would be other mammals that are there. Okay. So this statement becomes an invalid statement or not a valid statement. So converse is not valid in the case of A or all. Similarly, converse is also not valid in the case of 
when I have O that is some not. So in the case of some not again the converse is not valid. Interestingly when I have not or some in those cases contrapositive is not a valid form. Okay so that is a basic thing that you must remember. But what comes in besides here is a very very simple question that you would be asked in your examination and that would be all s are p in this statement or in a statement all cats are mammals what would be the converse so here converse is not true so all mammals are cats is not true but in this form the converse of a would exist only and only if p exists okay that means only and only if mammals exist then i can say a statement that some mammals are cats and that would be true so a converse in the case of all s r p would be some p r s or I can say some mammals are cats and that would be a true form of it. Okay, so all mammals are cat is not a valid form. I repeat again, lot of students get confused here. So in A and O, I am emphasizing again and again, the converse is not valid. Similarly, in E and I, contrapositives are not valid. So, if I take the same example of E, okay, the converse of E that would be there would be some P is not S. So, I can say some P is not S would be a valid form because here the contrapositive is not valid. When I say no, uh, no P, okay, when I say all forms of non P are not S, that is not valid in the case of E. So, what is valid would be some P is not S. As the case, as we did here, where I say some mammals are cats or some P are S, okay. So, that is a very, very important example to understand categorical converse and this is where we say this is a categorical converse because this would happen only if p exists so there is a existential uh, philosophy that is related to it now if you want to know more about the existential concept whether it exists and when i'm trying to use an existential import into it this existential import we have covered in our syllogism problems in the fourth part of it so just go back and check out the syllogism part four to understand the existential import so this would come as a true statement when there is existential import when I say P exists only and only if when P exists some P are S and some P is not S would be a true converse and therefore these are known as categorical converse. So that was a very important part of this lecture. I repeat again if you just go back to the previous diagram we have you would understand that in case of A and O we have the ob obverse and contrapositive that are true. In case of E and I we have the converse and uh, ob obverse that are true. So stay tuned for many more updates on logic. Have a wonderful day ahead.